All right, time to update our home automation setup with what the watch adds to the mix here. Hopefully we can get it focused. Now you'll notice there's a combination of white and blacked out buttons on here. We're currently watching Ghostbusters, so that matches with the now playing. That's awesome, right? So here we go. Check this out. We'll stop playback. Well, let's pick a TV show to watch. So that'll be up shortly while we're waiting. Uh, the eyeball is lit here. That signifies we're watching on the bed TV. Now if we were downstairs and that feature is working properly, it's the sketchiest one that I have in my opinion, the eyeball would be lit to signify one row up on the theater TVs. Now, Here's an example of what it would normally do if, say, the TV wasn't playing. We use the lights as an example. The lights are on. The light is white. The lights are off. Icon turns black. Same goes for the fan. Now, this little... Uh, special icon on the right button changes the light setup there are three different options not counting the default obviously you could add or remove more if you wanted You can pause playback. Or resume. Right, handy if you need to pop pop corner. Use the bathroom or something. If you wanted to watch a movie instead, there's a list for that. You'll notice the now playing in the watch face will update to match what's going to be playing. So now we're going to be watching Serenity. Now it says Serenity. Handy. Which brings us to the awesome Illuminate Deluminate button. All the lights are on now. I'm sure the neighbors love that. We'll turn downstairs off. Put us in the movie mode. So that's pretty much how it works. And I guess if you wanted to, for some reason, turn the TV off, that works too. So yeah, have a good one.